welcome back to another episode in the channel. So that's prawn vindaloo. But we're going to do it right. Nice, fresh, whole spices. What do we have here? We have about a two inch piece of um, cinnamon. One touch pepper or cinnamon leaf, Indian bay leaf, whatever you want to call it. Half a teaspoon of fennel. Half a teaspoon of fenugreek seed. One small anise. One heaped teaspoon of cumin. Two teaspoons of coriander seed we've got about I don't know 50 the reddest chilies you can find how many is there about 15 doesn't really matter have it as spicy as you want it is a vindaloo and we've got some curry leaves one sprig nice and fresh so we're just going to heat those up and make sure they're nice and dry because we're going to be making some of our own powder for this recipe so we're just going to roast them until they are nice and brittle for blending. So I always find it's a good idea to cut them up with scissors. They heat up quicker. Now we've got our lovely aromatic spice mix. It's time to heat your pan up. Cover the oil, cover the pan, the bottom of the pan with oil, maybe now four tablespoons, let that heat up. Next we've got about 200 gram fresh grey shrimp. Marinated with salt, turmeric and lime juice. And we're just going to give those a quick mix in the pan for about one and a half minutes. So that was perhaps one minute and all we've got to do is take those back out now. Now they've been flash fried and sealed back into another bowl. So like so, you do not want to overcook your prawns. You want to make those prawns glad they died for a good purpose. So overcooking them is disrespectful to their life. So, one large white onion, sauté. So we can add salt to taste to that, give it a stir. So after five minutes on a moderate flame, next it's time to add about three tablespoons of ginger and garlic paste. Plenty of ginger and garlic. All these recipes, one garlic clove and all this nonsense. If you're going to use it, use it. It's a proper ingredient. Very good for you as well. So give that a good stir. We need to um, get the ginger and garlic just sticking to the pan after we've stirred it. So a lot of the bubbling is subsided, which means the moisture from the ginger and garlic is, has been cooked away. Next, let's add that amazing powder that we made earlier. Nice and pungent. And we need to give that a good stir too. And what I'm going to do, I can see it's dried out. A little bit of tomato paste. You can use fresh tomatoes blended. You can use passata. You can use tomato puree and water, it's really up to you and I just want enough to just be able to stir and sizzle off those spices and again cook the raw flavours out. So I'm going to add a little water to that as well, just to be able to mix it all up and give it a really good sizzle until it's reduced. So highest heat for reduction. So if you can see from the steam that's pretty reduced. I'm adding about 250 millilitres of passata I'm using. Use any tomatoes you want. Passata is nice and convenient. It's going to give that a good reduction once again, making sure it's well mixed. It's really sizzling off nicely. Now I have the prawns. Give a good stir. And we just need to cook that out for around one and a half minutes to two minutes. And that's it, as simple as that. It's getting a bit dark now. I'm cooking in my outhouse. <clears throat> so we're going to see what that looks like when it's served. And the normal light in the kitchen to bring all those great colours out. And it certainly is nice and fiery. So after the tiniest effort, here we go. Have a look at that. Nice and simple, you don't need to garnish it. And the good thing about it, it goes perfectly with white rice. So thank you very much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up. I hope this uh, video has shown that anybody can do it. You haven't got to pop out for a takeaway. You can do it in minutes in your own house with a little bit of know-how.